Hey guys, it has been a while since I've posted any content on any platform on social media. Uh, let's just say my life has been a roller coaster and quite the journey. I have been sitting on this particular video for a while now um trying to figure out how i was going to do it how i was going to title it what i was going to say so i'm going to start at the beginning on october 13th of 2021 i survived a sudden cardiac arrest i was in a coma uh for a few days, they put a pacemaker in. I don't remember any of that. All I remember was waking up and knowing something had, was wrong, something had happened, and I could tell I had been I had been gone. I could feel it. I could tell it something wasn't right. But what I didn't know. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies are horrible. What I did not know was the moment I opened my eyes out of that coma, something very powerful began to happen. I didn't recognize it. I didn't know it was happening. And, you know, I've done videos saying, hey, I'm going through this spiritual awakening of some kind. And I may have had this, I may not have, because something happened about a month ago that changed my world again, completely. So it's been a couple of months. I got sick, then my cat passed away. Then we had a car accident, and then my phone stopped charging, and the side button stopped working, and so yesterday, for Mother's Day, I got a new phone, and I thought, now I've got to get in there and talk to these people, talk to everyone, so I guess it's been about a month ago, I logged in to TikTok. And Bishop Marmari Emmanuel popped up in my FYP. And I began to listen. And I'm thinking to myself, who is this man? This man is very passionate about what he is saying. So I started following through, trying to find him on TikTok, listening to a bunch of sermons. And I began to get very emotional. And I recognized this man is a true believer. And he's, he's very passionate about what he believes. I'm going to listen. So I found him on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube. I followed him. I followed his church on TikTok and YouTube. Not on Facebook, but I did on TikTok and YouTube. And then I witnessed the video of this man getting attacked on a live stream. And it literally broke me. I don't know this man from anybody in this world, a hill of beans, however you want to say it. And it broke me. It crushed me. And that's when it hit me. Everything that has been happening to me. I keep wondering why stuff keeps happening. Why I, I, for the past three or four months I can't catch a break. What is going on? I believe. I, I don't believe. I know. The moment I opened my eyes out of that coma. A battle began, a battle began for my soul.
And I know this is what's been going on. Satan and the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're battling for this soul. Because I was given a second chance. My surgeons, the hospital, my cardiologists, they all say, we don't know. We cannot figure out how you recovered so well. Live your life. Be grateful. Be thankful every day. And I am. I really am. But stuff began to happen. And I kept thinking I was having a, a spiritual awakening. Um, I began dabbling in reiki stuff uh stones um i stayed away from tarot i will never ever touch it so and i kept asking myself why am i leaning towards this but i know tarot is not to be touched something's not right and when i started watching bishop more Mari Emmanuel, that's when it hit me. There is a battle for my soul. My soul has purpose. My soul is valuable. And Satan is fighting to the nail for my soul. And the Father and the Holy Spirit is like, no, nah, man, she's mine. She's been mine for a long time. You stay awake. You guys, I began to work on something big because it was time for me to get back to what I've always known and believed to be true. Hold on, and I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to. Okay, guys, this is what I've been working on. Now, I ordered this from Amazon and I called it my Bible study tree it's like a tree bookshelf this is my Bible I've had it for a while like years I mean I've even got stuff highlighted in it this is my Bible these are your daily devotionals Jesus first and this one's really good. Jesus is calling. Um, so this is just part of it. Guys, hang tight. And I'm going to do another video showing you the biggest things yet that I've been working on. So hold tight and I will be right back. 